Hi students and welcome to your final fireside chat for um, in English 106 Composition 2. This is uh, me describing your course goal number five. So course goal five is demonstrate the proper use of MLA format, uh, modern language format, or American Psychological Association documentation format. And so this is probably the easiest goal to demonstrate. Um, you all have probably dabbled with MLA or APA style in other classes. Probably in your Comp 1 class you started with MLA. And so we're just going to continue working on using that style and using it really appropriately. Now in this class we're going to focus on MLA style and I'm going to tell you a little bit about why. Um, so there's lots of different styles out there. There's MLA, there's APA, there's Chicago. Um, sometimes people just have their own styles in-house. And different organizations, different academics use different styles. So um, English people typically use Modern Language Association, whereas um, social sciences typically use APA. And so the reason why we use MLA, one of the reasons is that it's the one that I'm more familiar with. But it, don't feel like I'm cheating you out of anything. Because the trick is, and here's the secret that no one will tell you, is that you don't have to memorize anything when it comes to Modern Language Association or APA or anything. Um, the trick is is just knowing how to use a style guide, knowing when to find resources that will help you um, create your MLA format. So there's no memorization. So the skill here is not that you know everything about MLA. You wouldn't want to because they change it all the time. The skill is knowing where to access resources that will help you create um, a formatted document. And the reason why we use uh, MLA or APA or Chicago or whatever is for consistency. So we want our essays to or in our articles to look the same as everyone else's. And the reason why is that it makes it a lot more readable and it levels the playing field. And so, you know, it makes it um, much simpler for your instructors to get through, but it also makes it so that when I see everyone's paper the same, I'm judging them the same way. I'm not saying, oh, this person used a font that's really hard to read, and it kind of, you know, makes it uncomfortable for me. It also makes it a lot easier for your readers to find your sources. And so when you have everything formatted in a one consistent way, people can go and find your sources, they can use them for themselves, and what we're doing here, what the goal of the whole academy is, is to just build on this body of knowledge that we have already. And so you guys are doing that by writing these papers and submitting them and challenging each other and reading articles. You are helping to build on that pile of academics. And then eventually people are going to build on you too. And so with um, a consistent style, we can um, do that building a little bit more effectively. And so the ways that you're going to demonstrate MLA format is we're going to work on it this semester, we're going to practice using it, we're going to try to get a handle on how to um, use MLA for kind of modern style issues. MLA is having a hard time keeping up with the, uh, with the internet. And so um, that's what we'll be working on with this goal. Probably your easiest goal um, in, you know, in terms of things that you have to do, but uh, it takes a lot of practice. So if you have any questions, let me know. But good luck.